Shalom to the elect of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian, and Haitians. Got to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Horash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, who teach well. And the sincere salutation to all the ark and pushing his truth throughout the four winds of the earth, waking up the whole for the And shout out to the ark while who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming into another lesson in truth, facts, faith, and, ed and edification. Now this is a wicked two-third Israelite by the name of Eric Mason. And um... He's going into, he got a, this is a two hour and 27 minute video. How he's going into everything, basically debunking everything that's in the scriptures pertaining to the Hebrew Israelites. Got salvation for the Hebrew Israelites only. Because what he's doing is, he's trying to bring in the Edomites. Because he's another Christianity deceiver. He's another Christianity deceiver. He either went to these theological seminars or these theological seminaries learning his um, Christianity deceiving methods and he's trying to bring in the slave master now. He want to bring in his slave master. So he's going into, now he's going into a lot of different things in this video, but this pertaining one, this particular one that I'm dealing with, it's Matthew the 15th chapter about the woman that said she was of Canaan. He's saying that it was a Canaanite woman. So, Lord's willingness be edifying. And also, he said that Job is an Edomite. So, I got a couple scriptures to prove that Job wasn't an Edomite. Because he's talking about going into the Septuagint and tell you that Job was an Edomite. Because he was living in the land of Uz. They consider Job to be an Edomite. Well, Job was speaking against the Edomites. And there's plenty of scriptures in Job to tell you that he wasn't an Edomite. So, Lord's willing to be edifying. Uh, this is good. Jesus, this is the other one. Jesus only came for the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. He told me that this is the other one. Because in this video, he's going through different, he's going through none but a different, a whole bunch of uh, different topics. Dealing with what we teach, starting with the Apostle and Elders of Great Millstone. He's going through a whole bunch of different things, like the Seraphonician woman, uh, the, the Canaanite woman in, that's in uh, Matthew the 15th chapter, and Job is an Edomite. So he's going through these different things. So these two topics that he's dealing with right now, the Canaanite woman and Job was, and Job was an Edomite. These are the two things I'm going to deal with. Because this is a, this is why people destroy, man, for listening to uh, wicked jakes like this. This is a beautiful one right here. Grab for me, uh, Matthew, uh, uh, Glenn, grab Matthew 15, 21 through 24. And I'm finna cut this up, man. Grab Matthew 11, 21 through 22. And one of the things that they'll say to do while he's holding the Bible, he has come only for the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. But who Israel? Who Israel? And they'll say that over and over and over again, right? You see, his audience laughing. Two thirds. Then it's a game. Because the whole point of him doing this is he's trying to bring in the Edomites, man. These niggas always try to say Edomites, man. That's the whole point of this. Trying to say Edomites because that's who taught him his bullshit doctrine. Jesus left there, he withdrew to the area of Tyre and Sidon. Just then, a Canaanite woman from that region came and kept crying out, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely tormented by a demon. Jesus did not say a word to her. His disciples approached him and urged him, Send her away because she's crying out after us. He replied, I will send only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No. Nah. The disciples told him to send her away, but Yahweh said, I'm, I'm on the sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Uh, so, obviously, she was an Israelite if the Lord dealt with her. Right. So, what Jesus is saying, Jesus begins talking to the woman and lets her know, 
that he was sent to the lost sheep of the tribe of Israel. When he's saying that, he's not saying that it's limited to Israel. Nah, is that in the scriptures? It's not limited to Israel? Is that in the scriptures? This man is going off, man. What does it say? Right there in the passage, keep reading for me, if you don't mind. But she came, knelt before him, and said, Lord, help me. He answered, it isn't right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. Yes, Lord, she said, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus replied to her, woman, your faith is great. Let it be done for you as you want. And from that moment, her daughter was healed. Stop. Now, this is a Canaanite woman. The text said she's a Canaanite woman. She's not a scattered Israelite. She's a Canaanite woman. The text says she's a woman of Canaan. Okay? She's a woman of Canaan. Now, what area of was this? Go back up to verse 21. What area was this? Read that again. When Jesus left there, he withdrew to the area of Tyre and Sidon. Stop right there. Tyre and Sidon, right? Now, read over when Jesus sends the wolves to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Oh, and, the sheep, all the, all and, the and, and this is what he using it. This is what he using. This is what he using to justify that she was a Canaanite woman. Now listen to what he finna say. Back in Tanakh, back in the Old Testament, they would have repented. So Jesus. Now he said they would repent it back in the, in the Tanakh. Well, according to the scriptures, that's a lie, man. Okay. Now watch this. This is Ezra chapter nine verse one. Now when these things were done, the prince came to me saying, "The people of Israel and the priests and the Levites." have not separated themselves from the people of the lands. Doing according to their abominations, even of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the, Perizzites, the Jebusites, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Egyptians, and the Amorites. For they have taken up their daughters for themselves and for their sons, so that the holy seed, which is of Israel, have mingled themselves with the people of those lands, yeah, the hand of the princes and rulers have been chief in this trespass. So, this was telling you right here that they had mingled their seed with these nations. Now, watch this. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 1. When the Lord Yahweh thy power shall bring thee into the land where thou goest to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hittites and the Gergesites, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Perizzites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, seven nations greater and mightier than thou. And when the Lord Yahweh thy power shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor show mercy unto them. Neither shall thou make marriages with them. Thy daughters shall not, thy, thy daughters. Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So the Lord said, don't deal with him. So why would the Lord bless this uh, Canaanite woman if she was a woman of Canaan? Jesus perfectly gives them an object lesson. It goes to the area of Tyre and Sidon to show them, like, that you didn't repent, but this one woman has greater faith than you, and she repents because she is from Tyre and Sidon. Now, he added to the scripture. It don't say that nowhere in the scriptures, man. Okay? This fat demon is adding to the scriptures, man. And this nigga wearing uh, uh, skinny jeans, man. Now, Matthew 15 and 21. Then Yahweh went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast. It says she came out of the same coast as Canaan. 
Okay? And crying unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and beside him, saying, Send her away, for she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So is this Yahweh Shah saying that she was an Israelite? So that's why he was talking to her? Okay, because the disciples said, Send her away. And he said, But I'm not sent, but the lost sheep of the house of Israel, but unto the lost sheep. So now when you go cutting this up, what he just said, let's go to uh, Mark. Now this is about the same woman and her daughter. This is how stupid Jake is, man. This is Mark chapter 7, verse 24. And from thence he arose and went into the border of Tyre and Zidon. This is the same story that's in Matthew, the 15th chapter. It's in Mark, the 7th chapter. And enter into the house and will have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell at his feet. This woman was a Greek, a Seraphonician by nation. And she brought him and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. Okay. It says she was a, the woman was a Greek, a Seraphonician woman. Is this talking about two separate women with a daughter that had a devil? No, this is the same story, man. This is the exact same story that's in Matthew, man, the fifteenth chapter. So this Edom, this this this, this uh, chocolate Edomite is bugged out of his mind, man. Okay, it's talking about the same woman in Matthew fifteenth chapter, man. And there it says she was a Canaan, a woman of Canaan, a woman of Canaan. It didn't say she was a Canaanite. Okay, and here it said. The woman was a Greek, a Seraphonician woman. It's a Greek, a Seraphonician by nation. Okay? So was she a Canaan, a Greek, or a Seraphonician? Which one was she, man? So guess what? Even though Jesus specifically came to fulfill the law and the prophets and engage the, the lost sheep of the tribes of Israel, one of the important things that we see in the passage is he made concession here to engage this woman, which is mind-boggling for me right here. Also, I don't have hey, like Apostle Hall said, it's, it's mind-boggling for you, devil, because you don't know the scriptures. The same story is in Mark, the seventh chapter, and it said a Greek, a Seraphonician by nation. So which one is she, a Canaanite or a Greek? This shows you, man, Jake don't do no research. But he's trying to bring in, the only reason he's going through this, because he's trying to save Esau Edom, so-called white man. The red Hebrew Edomite, man. Now, this is, now watch what he's going to say now. Go through it, but Job was an Edomite, not a Hebrew. You see? Talks about it, so, I don't have time to dive into that. <laughs> hey, listen, man. Job was not a damn Edomite, man. And let's deal with that. Let's deal with Job not being an Edomite. Now, first off, Job said that he had to sacrifice to the Lord for his son because they committed sin. And I'm going to read it. This is Job chapter 1. Verse 4, it reads, And his sons went and feasted in their houses every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. And it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. It said Job rose up and did burnt offerings to Yahweh for his seven sons and three daughters. For Job said, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed power in their hearts, 
Gus did Job continually. So Job, hey, if you're in other nation, you can't sacrifice to the Lord burnt offerings. This it said, he said, it may be, it may be that my sons have sinned and cursed the most high. Okay, that he's that they sinned. Who was sin given to? The Israelites, man. Uh, so like who was laws given to? The Israelites. So first John 3 and 4 say, sin is transgression of the law. The only way you can sin, you have to be able to break the law in the first place. So that's a cut on the Job deal. Now, let's deal with it. This is Job chapter 30, verse 30. If Job was an Edomite, why the hell would Job say this? This is Job 30 and 30. And it reads, My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Now, you look up this word black, it means dark skin, man. Okay? Dark skin, man. So how could how could Job be an Edomite if his skin was black? Okay? How is that possible, man? Now, this is Job before the second chapter. Now, this is a whole cut right here within itself. This is Job chapter 42 and verse 6. Now, this is about Job and his friend. Because Job was living in the land of us. But listen to what Job said. Job 42 and 6. Wherefore, I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Because when you were going through something, when you were mourning, you know, we used to throw ashes on our head. Now, Job said, just this verse alone, wherefore, I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Now, when you go to Hebrews, <laughs> Job said he repent in dust and ashes. Now, according to Hebrews chapter 12, an Edomite cannot repent. So it reads, Hebrews 12 and 16, least there be any fornicator or a profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he had no place of repentance, though he saw it carefully with tears. So if Job was an Edomite, why would Job 42 and 6, he said he repented. An Edomite cannot repent. And this is the words of the Lord, man. Okay. Now, this is what Paul wrote in the Hebrews. And Job said his skin is black upon him. Okay? When you look up that word, it tell you that it's talking about dark skin, man. So how the hell could Job be an Edomite? Now, that's a whole cut in itself because Job said he repented. Now, this is another bug that Jake. I'm only going to pay like the first little minute and a half for this. I just want you to hear how bug that Jake is. There are rituals of the elements like for the and feasts of the times. What a vi another quick video, and I want to address a topic that has been brought to my attention, and it's about, um, you know, why do I do these videos? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a quick explanation of why I do this, and the reason is. Because I want people, well, first of all, number one, um, I'm here to spread the gospel. And, you know, we as Christians are, you know, we are commanded to spread the gospel, to spread God's word. So that's one of the things that, that's the biggest reason why I'm doing this is uh, spreading the gospel, trying to make sure that people are pretty well equipped with the word of God. You know, now we are living in a time where people are falling away from the faith, you know, so they can go running after these myths, uh, just like I think it's First Timothy, uh, I think it's First Timothy three and sixteen. 
um, you know, the time is coming, or 2 Timothy 3 and 16, one of those, where it says that the time is coming where people are going to, you know, follow behind false teachers and fall away into myths, you know, uh, for things that are going to suit their own passions. They want teachings that are going to suit their own passions. And that's what the Hebrew Israelite cult is. It's something that's telling people that they are special because of their skin color. When we all know that that's false. And, you know, these black... Did you hear what he said? That they are special people because of their skin color. Hey, see, man, this is the problem with Jake, man. This nigga here is wicked as hell, man. Listen to this. That they are special because of their skin color. When we... we are special, man. Okay? <laughs> we are special, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 7. This is Deuteronomy 7 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord Yahweh thy power. The Lord Yahweh thy power has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, what the hell is this devil talking about? Hey, this is why the Lord going to destroy you. you Two third Jakes, man. We all know that that's false. And you hear what he said? We all know that that's false. Hey, this is Jake for you, man. Okay. Something that's telling people that they are special because of their skin color. When we all know that that's false. And you know what that's false at, man. The Lord say you are a chosen people, man. A royal priesthood, man. Okay. This is our uh, first Peter's. Hey Amen. The Lord is going to destroy these wicked demons, man. This is first Peter's. Uh, chapter two. And verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation, a peculiar. A peculiar people that ye should show forth the praise of him. Who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. Which in time past were not a people. But are now the people of power. Which have not obtained mercy. But now have obtained mercy. So what is he talking about? To my. They are special people. We know that's not true. Did you hear what this devil said? I'm going to run it back one more time man. Something that's telling people that. They are special because of their skin color. When we all know that that's false. And hey, he, he want to be an Edomite, man. He said that that's a lie. So he calling the Lord a liar, man. Okay, he's calling the Lord a liar, man. The Lord going to destroy people like this, man. And, you know, these black Hebrew Israelites are running out here talking about that they're God's chosen people just because they're Israelites. Listen, man, we are the Lord's chosen people, man. I just read it to you, okay? Now, this is um, Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear the words of the Lord. Hear the words that the Lord Yahweh have spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Joel 2 and 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord Yahweh, your power, and none else, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So what is he talking about, man? Okay? What is he talking about, man? Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the services of power and the promises. Okay? And the promises. What is he talking about, man? Leviticus 20 and 26. And it reads, And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord Yahweh, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye should be mine. Okay? Hey, man, this is not rocket science, man. This is not rocket science, man. Deuteronomy 14 and 2. 
For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, Yahweh thy power, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the face of the earth. They are upon the earth. So what is he talking about, man? He said we are a peculiar people, man. And you can't get around this, man. Esau, these, these, these Edomites have destroyed our people, man. This is um, Malachi chapter 3, verse 17. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord, Yahweh of hosts. And that day will I make up my Jews. Because when you look at the word peculiar, it means Jews, man. Jewels. Okay? I will make up my Jews, and I will spare them as a man spare his own son that serveth him. Hey, man, Jack don't want, Jack want to be an Edomite, man. But they trying to save these Edomites. Which I've uh, said in many videos, they can't prove at all, um, nor do they have the evidence to show how they are Hebrew Israelites. So it's how? How we are Hebrew Israelites? Deuteronomy. Man, you don't need number one of these verses, man. Matter of fact, two. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Who put a yoke of iron on our neck, man? The Edomites. Verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way wherever I speak unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, men in our land, and there you shall be sold unto your enemy for born men and born women. So what is this dude talking about? And no, and no man shall redeem you, man. So what is he talking about? This showing you how Esau, Esau even had destroyed our people with religion, man, with Christianity, okay? Philosophies. They are wicked philosophies, man. He talking about we can't prove that we Hebrew Israelites. These laws... These curses are pertaining to the Israelites, man. No one else came over here on slave ships, man. No one else went around the world on slave ships, man. No one else on the planet Earth had yokes and iron on their neck but Hebrew Israelites, man. So-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let's show you how stupid Jake is, man. Basically cultural appropriation at its best. But anyway, the main reason why I do this is because I want to spread the gospel. Yeah, hey, what he's spreading is... Esau Edom's gospel, man. Okay? Deceiving the people, man. Now, he just said they can't prove that they Hebrew Israelites. This nigga so stupid. This this type of... Man, the Lord gonna destroy niggas like this, man. Because he don't want to be in the nation. He's trying to separate himself. Well, guess what? The Lord don't want you, man. Okay? Two verses and I'm gonna close out on this, man. This is Luke chapter 1. Matter of fact, let me get this first. Luke 19 and 27. But those my enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So you two-thirds, you're going to be destroyed, man. Because you you coming up against the words of the Lord, man. They they can't prove that Hebrew Israelites. Nigga, the curses is pertaining to us, you stupid-ass nigga. This is Luke chapter 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. They tell you in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, you shall be sold unto your enemy for bond men and bond women, and no one shall buy you. That word buy means to be redeemed, to, bought, to be bought back. So it say right here, in Luke 1 68, blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, power of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. Okay? His people, man. Possess a pronoun. Hey, so Lord, witness of edifying, Gotta give our praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Raka, Korash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, rule well, who teach well, and the sincere say, taste and tell the ark and pushing this truth throughout the four ends of the earth, waking up the hope for the let. Hey, Amen. That chick that's in Matthew the 15th chapter is the same chick that's in Matthew the 7th chapter, man. I mean, that's in Mark the 7th chapter, which in Matthew 15th chapter, she was a, a Canaan. She was a woman of Canaan, but in Mark the seventh chapter, she was a Greek, a Seraphonician woman. So what is she? Is she a Canaanite, a Greek Seraphonician woman, or is she an Israelite? Hey, Shalom.